Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel and today's video is actually the first video out of the Biology Made Easy series that I'm starting where I cover the biology chapter according to the SPM syllabus chronologically, hopefully I'll do it in order and essentially I'll just be touching on the things that are important for each and every chapter whether it's for objective or structure or essay and now we are starting with chapter 2 actually, which is cell structure and cell organization. And today we are only looking at the animal cell, which is of course an important cell. And if you would have noticed, I have actually skipped chapter 1. And the reason for that is chapter 1 is actually basic and it's just an introduction to biology. So personally, I didn't study chapter 1 when I took my SPM. And the questions from chapter 1 are usually based on logic if there are any questions at all because usually they just skip chapter one so anyways we are taking a look at the animal cell today and in this clip i'm just drawing it but don't worry um usually you'll not be asked to draw the animal cell at this level you'll just be asked to label the animal cell so you need to know the organelles that are present in the animal cell so the little structures are what you need to know and of course their function so this can be asked in objective and in structure as well. So yeah. Okay, so as I've said previously, you need to know the structure and the function. So the first thing that we're looking at is actually the plasma membrane, which is just a thin layer made up of proteins and phospholipids. So this can be an objective question. They can give a few um, things substances and ask you what is plasma membrane made of and your answer would be proteins and phospholipids and so the function of plasma membrane is simply to regulate the movement of substances in and out of the cell that is the function of plasma membrane and it is also semi-permeable the second thing that we are looking at is the cytoplasm which is like just a jelly like medium where the organelles are suspended and so you need to know the function of cytoplasm as well. The function of cytoplasm is simply the medium where biochemical reactions occur. Examples of biochemical reactions are respiration and photosynthesis as well. Now we'll take a look at the third organelle here, which is a nucleus. So the nucleus is a very important structure and the nucleus in the nucleus itself, there are various other structures as you would see later. But basically, the function of the nucleus is to control and direct cellular synthesis and activities of the cell. So it actually regulates the exchange of substances between the nucleus and the cytoplasm as well, but mainly it controls the cellular activities of the cell. And now we'll label the nucleus. And these thread-like structures here are actually chromatin, which is the condensed form of chromosome. And then we have the dense circle in the middle, the colored one, it's the nucleolus. And next up is the tiny space between the two rough endoplasmic reticulum there's a tiny gap there and that gap is called nuclear pore and outside the nucleus we have the cytoplasm right and the space inside the nucleus will be called nucleoplasm and then we have here the nuclear envelope Okay, now we'll move on to the other side where we have the mitochondria and the mitochondria is simply a cylindrical shaped organelle um, consisting of matrix that is enclosed by a double membrane. So as you would see here, it actually contains a double membrane and the function of mitochondria is to act as a site for cellular respiration and energy is released in the form of ATP molecules. So if you see mitochondria and if you see ATP as an answer in the objective part, then definitely select ATP. 
So I'm just drawing the mitochondria out at the side because we have to label this mitochondria. One of a favorite subjective question is simply they will ask you to draw the mitochondria and label it. So this is how you do it. We have the outer membrane outside and then the inner membrane which is a bit curved is called the inner membrane and then if you see here there is a like curved area where it falls inside that is called criste take note of the spelling of criste and the inner liquid there is simply called the matrix so now we'll move on to the rough er the rough er is for short um, the full form of er is endoplasmic reticulum so it's known as the rough endoplasmic reticulum and it is usually attached to the nucleus. The function of the rough ER is that it transports protein produced by ribosome. So it simply transports protein. Remember that the rough ER is always attached to the nucleus. Next, we'll take a look at the smooth ER. Smooth ER looks like the rough ER except that it doesn't have all those tiny dots around it. It is smooth and it is not connected to the nucleus. So the function of the smooth ER is that it synthesizes and transports lipid. It synthesizes and then transports it. While for rough ER, it only transports protein because ribosome essentially synthesizes protein. The next thing that we're going to look at is the Golgi apparatus. And you will notice that the Golgi apparatus looks like the smooth ER. Both are not attached to the nucleus and both looks kind of similar actually. But how you would differentiate Golgi apparatus is the fact that there are tiny vesicles next to it. If you notice, there are tiny little dots next to it. So the function of Golgi apparatus is to package and transport raw materials as carb, protein, and glycoproteins. So there will be vesicles budding of Golgi apparatus. So that's how you differentiate Smooth ER and Golgi apparatus. Smooth ER does not have those vesicles. The next thing that we have here is ribosome, which is simply the black dots that you can see on the rough ER. Rough ER, um, sorry, ribosome is a spherical organelle. It can either be freely suspended in the cytoplasm or attached to rough ER. And the function of ribosome is to synthesize protein. So this is why um, rough ER only transports protein, while, Gogi, uh, while smooth ER actually synthesizes and transports lipids because ribosome is the one which will synthesize protein. Next up, we have centrioles. Centrioles is only found in animal cells, and it looks like a star shape. The function of centrioles is to form spindle fibers during cell division. Alright, so those are all the organelles that we have identified and I went through all the structure and function of those organelles with you guys as well. So I hope that you guys have found this video helpful. If you have, remember to give this video a like and I'll see you guys next week.